Now let's create a simple 3D model right on the iPad. We're going to use 123D Creature. Of course, this is optimized for creating creature-like shapes rather than geometric shapes. So if you want a more geometric model, you might have to use something like Blender. But for creating content on the iPad, this is certainly the easiest way to do it. We'll create a new model, and here we have our basic skeleton. What we're going to do is create a letter M, just for mobile. We need to delete a few points from the skeleton. And then we have our basic letter M, which maybe looks a bit more like a W at this point. And we can adjust it. All right, so there's a basic 3D model. We could do a lot more work on it, but just to demonstrate the ability to import into Ice Mobile, we only need a very basic model here. Okay, now that it's converted into a mesh, save it, and export the mesh. We can just call it M, and here we're going to send to iTunes. What this does is it saves the mesh as a zip file on the iPad. And that zip file is accessible from iTunes. In the future, it would be nice to export directly from 123D Creature and upload to the web, but for now we go through iTunes. Now let's switch to iTunes to import the model. And here's m.zip, which we can save to our file system. Now it's copied there. Now that we have our zip file on the file system, we need to expand it. This is originally a 6 megabyte file, but you can see that inside that we have a 26 megabyte OBG file and the texture map and the materials. A 25 megabyte object file is quite large, so when we upload it into the Ice Mobile web application, it will be converted server-side into a less detailed mesh. Let's give it a name and select it. It'll be named generically sculptshape.obj and we upload it. The actual upload proceeds fairly quickly. But what's also happening on the server is this 25 megabyte object mesh is being converted into a much smaller 1000 edge mesh by the Seagull library. The mesh is now slimmed down. Let's take a look at it in augmented reality. Now that we have our 3D object file uploaded, let's check it out in augmented reality. Select it from a list that allows us to store multiple models in the application and display it by launching Ice Mobile SX. Models are now loaded from the server and displayed on the markers. And for instance, there's our M that we created in 123D Creature.